Yeah. So, and, and then I know that you had mentioned it before, uh, referred to it before, you know, one of the highlights, and I would be very remiss if I didn't say this, uh, one of uh, the highlight, highlighted institutions in our neighborhood mm -hmm. is, of course, the building of OIC, mm -hmm. um, you know, which all of us, you know, many of us have been touched by not only the building itself, but the programs and services that were offered there. Uh, I myself worked there. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we've had this, you and I have had discussions about, you know, your interaction, you know, with the, with the OIC. Yeah. Um, my yeah. husband al also yeah. worked there. Yeah, he um, opened the first contractors, you know, uh, service there, bus business center there. Um, and, you know, along with OIC was the presence of our Urban League, mm. the Urban League and mm. all the services that uh, was available in that building, daycare, health center, Allenberry Health Center. So to me, those are the real diamonds, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that have happened, uh, that have been cultivated, have been uh, dug out from uh, South Side as a neighborhood. Mm. I hear you. Mm -hmm. um, so have there been any events that you went to on the South Side that stand out in your mind? Absolutely. Um, and I'm going to call out yours too, which was the uh, tea parties, <laughs> the Langston Hughes tea parties that were held at the um, at the Dudley Street Rec, you know, uh, Davy Lopes. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> but along, you know, OIC hosted uh, was the home of the Langston Hughes Center for the Arts. Right. And one of the primary functions, not functions, but events, happenings that came through Langston Hughes was the Jazz on the Grass. Mm -hmm. and, and that that was those those were great times. That yeah. was a great, great Ed event. Clinton's baby. Yes, that's right. And Edmonds Clanton yeah. uh, promoted those along with many other types of uh, plays in which he involved the children, uh, forums, uh, meetings and get together sessions, summits just in any number of things uh, that not only came from the Langston Hughes Center for the Arts, but also um, the Rhode Island Black Historical Society, mm -hmm. which was lo located there for a time. Mm -hmm. So, um, so there, there were just, you know, just a wealth of uh, events and activities that came there. I mean, people even had um, notable weddings receptions <laughs> at, uh, at OIC and you know great musical events and concerts so yeah there there was quite a bit you know quite a bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that were not there sweet honey in the grass coming there oh yeah, yeah. yes yeah. Honey in the rock. yeah mm -hmm. absolutely every every like January every for like about six seven years straight in a row mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah Absolutely. I forgot about the shows that were there. Yes, though, definitely. You know, some of some some t headliners, mm. you know, they sponsored, you know, some very, you know, important uh, jazz jazz people. Nancy Wilson. They put, right. put Nancy yeah. Wilson. Yes, Remember yeah. that? Yes. yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yeah, yeah but Nancy Wilson. So the, the list go on. So those were, you know, some of the events. And, you know, I think <clears throat> Our neighborhood also uh, area has also been host to, um, you know, some of the cultural parades, mm -hmm. you know, through, through, through Broad Street. Um, the also, you know, the events that were held at uh, uh, the Masonic Temple, our beloved temple that, mm -hmm. you know, unfortunately burned to the ground this past Christmas. Mm -hmm. um so there were there were activities and mm -hmm. events and sponsored mm -hmm. um you know at parties and all kinds of things that happened yeah uh and then that was on Eddie street the masonic temple yeah, yeah i remember so, the temple. Mm 